sharp surprise for a woman at Walmart. She says when she grabbed her shopping cart handle, there was a razor sticking right out of it. She says someone put it there while she was shopping. Oh my, now Walmart says it is taking action. Let's go to local 10 news reporter Terrell Cornet, live in Coral Springs with our story tonight. Terrell. Well, that victim says that this could have happened to anyone. She simply pushed a shopping cart, but she didn't realize what was actually underneath her hand. It started out as a simple trip to the store. Looking at juices, we were talking about juices, comparing ingredients and stuff. And then when I went to move it, I felt something. That something which snagged Faith Farrell's hand was a sharp razor blade attached to the handlebar of her shopping cart. Very sharp, odd feeling of what could that be that poked me? And then when I saw it, I'm like, this can't be real. Faith and her 10 year old daughter snapped these photos of the odd object and then sought out store managers. They didn't take it serious. I thought, you know, there's always a cop car outside of there that they would have called a police officer, security, somebody to look and try to find how it happened. So Faith filed her own police report and posted the proof on social media. We reached out to Walmart tonight for comment and they tell us, quote, it's disturbing that someone would purposely try to injure a customer or associate. We take this matter seriously and have since checked all shopping carts and are currently conducting regular checks. Just a little scrape, it was nothing. This mom of two was not seriously injured, but she worries about the next time that an unsuspecting shopper reaches out and grabs a cart, not knowing of the danger, an act that Faith is certain was a deliberate one. But why else would there be a blade on a handlebar if not to purposely cause damage to someone, something? Faith says she is grateful that her kids did not try to push that cart here inside of this Walmart right off of State Road 7 and Sample Road. But tonight she is hoping that since the police are involved, that they review the surveillance video to find out who was responsible. Reporting live from Coral Springs, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.